It is 15 years since the U.S. Twin Towers in New York were reduced to rubble, following a series of four coordinated terrorist attacks by the Islamic terrorist group Al-Qaeda. 2,996 people lost their lives on that day with over 6,000 injured. U.S. citizens, including the country's head of state Barack Obama, paid homage to the victims and their families. In his speech, Obama said the terrorist threat has evolved and urged Americans to examine how they responded to the threat. As we've seen so tragically from Boston to Chattanooga, from San Bernardino to Orlando, so, in Afghanistan, Iraq, Syria, and beyond, we'll stay relentless against terrorists like Al-Qaeda and ISIL. We will destroy them, and we'll keep doing everything in our power to protect our homeland. As we reflect on these past 15 years, it's also important to remember what has not changed, the core values that define us as Americans, the resilience that sustains us, after all, terrorists will never be able to defeat the United States. Their only hope is to terrorize us into changing who we are or our way of life. Critics echo Obama's stance, saying that in as much as the U.S. has not suffered the devastating 9-11 attacks again, citing progress in how the country protects its homeland, the ever-increasing international terrorism threaten international systems and the alliances the U.S. depends on, they say, for its security and prosperity, urging the U.S. to confront those issues head-on. We'll